Heat number two lined up with the second fastest qualifier, Wayne Rainey, number 60R. Number 18, Terry Poovey. Number 10, Doug Chandler. And number 16, Ronnie Jones. And straight off the line with Wayne Rainey on the Mert Lawwell prepared Harley Davidson with Texas Terry Poovey on the Gardner Patrick Harley in hot pursuit. Ronnie Jones, number 16, passing several riders on the outside in the loose stuff. And number 15, Michigan's Garth Brow mixing it up for the lead. But Wayne Rainey, who is primarily a road racer, a totally different style of motorcycle racing, was showing the established dirt track stars that he's a force to be reckoned with. As much as Wayne would set the pace, Texan Terry Poovey would show his experience and slip by Rainey. Earlier, we asked Poovey what makes Springfield such a fast track. Well, I believe it's the dirt and the shape of the track. It's, uh, it's just, you can just about hold the thing wide open around there. Well, compare this to, say, a Sacramento. Well, uh, it's Sacramento's got a lot longer straightaways and a lot tighter corners here. The corners are almost as big as the straightaways. I believe that's what makes it so fast. Poovey and Rainey were joined by number 10, Doug Chandler, at least for a while. But the fierce competition between Poovey and Rainey, together with their excellent use of the draft, pulled them away from Chandler and the rest of the field. Watching these riders run so close together at speeds approaching 130 miles an hour, you'd think their minds would be working overtime, sizing up and then avoiding all the possible dangers. But as Wayne Rainey said earlier, that ain't necessarily so. I, I would think uh, trying to find the best line, the easiest line and the fastest line around the turn because uh, obviously this is the fastest mile and most of it is made up in the turn. So I would think uh, trying to find the, the fastest line around the turns. Wayne was the second fastest qualifier with a lap of 36.567 seconds or 98.449 miles per hour. Just a quarter of a second behind Ricky Graham's factory Honda. Both Wayne and Terry Poovey were on Harleys. And we asked Terry whether a private Harley can be competitive with a factory Honda. Now I think it's how much money you want to spend on the Harleys to keep up with the Hondas. Well, uh, I believe we're competitive with the Honda factory. I'm on a, on a real good team this year with uh, Chuck Garner and Carl Patrick. And uh, I believe they probably have the fastest Harley out there. Both Wayne and Terry transferred directly into the final, along with Doug Chandler on a private Honda. Tom McIntyre spoke to the winner, Terry Poovey, at trackside. Terry, that had enough excitement for a main event. That was, uh, that was something out there. Boy, it, sure, it was for something for me because uh, three weeks ago, I separated my shoulder out in San Jose. And I tell you, it hurts so bad now, I don't know about that main event. You're, you're, you're really hurting now? Yeah, my ribs hurt, my shoulder hurts. Well, a remarkable heat race then for a man who's in a lot of pain. I hope You hope it stays together and you get into that main event. I hope so. Okay, good luck, Terry. So, Terry Poovey won the second heat in six minutes, 6.802 seconds, 98.14 miles per hour, just 0.427 seconds slower than Ricky Graham's time in heat number one.